hello darkness mild friend welcome back to 2009 based on this horrible we got going on layout judging by the music it should be 2009 today i'm just gonna show you a makeup look i do a lot it's really easy it's kind of something if like i want to put on makeup but i want to do like minimal effort it's something i'll do sorry you just witnessed me picking my nose but look at i got my nails done this one isn't busted anymore most of my face is actually already on I did my bronzer, I did my blush. I just didn't do my highlighter because I felt like last time I didn't do it enough justice because I had like blush on and stuff. I couldn't show it the highlight well enough. It's the Mega Glow Wet n Wild one. It's Blossom Glow and I really like it. I've been wearing it in the past couple days actually and I'm gonna take it on this unknown Amazon brush again and put it on the apples. I think it looked really nice. I found that putting it on with a fan brush actually really isn't that good. You probably can't see how well this is performing, but it is really, really good. And I just like to put as much on as possible so everybody can see me from like a 20 mile radius. So I can just stun and blind my entire town, causing everybody to go blind for a couple hours. She is beautiful. And I would use my phone's light to maybe highlight it or showcase it, but that's what I'm using to record this, so. Let's see, what else are we going to do? I'm gonna put on some eyebrows. Normally I'll just take NYX's eyebrow pencil and then just go from there, like if I'm really busy. Otherwise, I'll do like a baddie kind of brow with uh, my Anastasia dip brow. And that's what we're gonna do today because I have time, and if you have time, then I would totally go for it. But if you don't have time, just use like a pencil. Pencils work just fine. My eyebrows are a mess. That's because I, um, I rip everything I touch. Yeah, I have a picking problem. I pick anything that I can get my fat little hands on. That's why I wear acrylic nails. Just put two and two together with that. There's gonna be a lot of jump cuts with this, let me tell you. I always mess up on my eyebrows, but I figure you can just go in with concealer and really carve them out. So if you do them horrible, like if you take up half of your forehead, that's fine, because you can just go in and fix them. And I like to start on the top. I know some people start at the bottom, You can see I messed up up here because I was talking, so I'm going to shut my fat whore mouth. And this looks great, except for when I was, you know, rambling, and then I made that stupid looking sonic pointy ass hair up there. So I'm going to get rid of that, and I always use just a concealer that's closest to my skin tone, so I'm just going to use Ferro 6. I normally use, I use light 12 because it's closer to my foundation, but I just actually happened to just grab the one bottle by accident. Because they're both out, you see. I like to mix... Fair 6 and Light 12 together. It matches me better when I mix them both together. We don't want our eyebrows to look real. We don't want natural hairs. We want weird, fade, Instagram batty brows. That's what we want. This is what we're going for. This one looks better. This one looks like it's like dopey twin. Before we go any further, I need to prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. In Eden. I generally like to let this sit on my eyes, then I'll do my eyebrows just so it has a chance to like set up. I want to put on freckles. This is a wet and wild pencil. Everything else wiped away, so I don't know what this is. If you have a camera that doesn't photograph well, it's fine if they're dark. I can't see what I'm doing. I like to concentrate it heavy over on my cheeks, in my bags, bridge of the nose. Random points all over my face, a little bit on my forehead. Some of them can be darker than others, bigger than others. So it's kind of a creamy consistency, so it does like to slide if you do it on like tighter areas, like your nose. Cover up some acne scars. Cover up all your mistakes. Hide your acne, hide the body, hide the embarrassing Christmas photo. Fun. Again, I'm going to wet my face again with the Mario spray, just because I don't like when my face gets kind of crunchy. So I'm going to get in my mouth. I just don't know how people do it. Do you like things getting sprayed in your face? Comment down below. Do you like things in sprayed in your face? You can do this in a number of ways. You can use the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Sometimes I use the Life is a Festival palette by Too Faced. Sometimes I use the Blood Sugar palette more often than not when I do something like this but it's kind of like lost under my other palettes and my Anastasia one's actually just a lot more accessible and you really don't need that many colors 
it's really not super crazy. That's why like anybody can do it really fast. I might use Norvina too because it does have a color in here that I wanted to use, but it's in like the blood sugar palette. So this is fine, whatever. So I'm just gonna start with the love shade in the Norvina palette. How's everybody doing since we last spoke? Everybody well? Everybody watching anything good? Anybody draw anything? Do anything fun? Me neither. Cool. So now I want to go in, same brush, doesn't matter, with Love Letter in the Modern Renaissance palette. We're just gonna go in, redden everything up. Truly really just if you have like a deep pink, you can do it. That's all there is to it. Deep reds, deep pinks. I don't know why I gravitate towards this kind of look, but it's what I normally do if I want to do something big, but big enough that I could go out in. Which is like an understatement for me, because I'll go to like an 8 a.m. lecture in full glam. Hi. I kind of want to use a darker red, but I don't know in what palette I want to use. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll just use Don't Leave by ColourPop. It's one of the Super Shocks. I'm just gonna take that on another on my little petite Zoeva brush. Why not? Like I said, focus it on the out, a little bit in the crease. Like I said, you can use any kind of pinks and stuff. So really, if you just have a deep enough pink, you can do whatever you want. It just has to be deep. It can't be neon. I mean, I guess it could be neon if you want to. And that's really it is for the matte shadows. I'm going to use my Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glue. This is the one, it's Ballet Baby. I'm not sure if you can get it elsewhere besides Ulta. I thought it was an Ulta exclusive, maybe it's not. I don't know. I like these because there's no effort. <laughs> you just put them on and go, and then it makes it look, look really good. So you can have this shit, and then put this on, it looks really good. I'm just gonna put it in the center, on the whole lid, so I guess not the center. You could really just do this with Love Letter. And then put Ballet Baby on and call it a day. I'm not going to bother patting this out because I do like the opacity. I am going to take what's left of Don't Leave from my Zoeva brush. And I will pat out the edges. That's about it. See how that takes it from like a negative six to like maybe a hard seven? We are going to let this sit for a little bit because I do want to put on eyeliner. And I sometimes it does like to stick a little bit. Eyeliner is option, but I don't want to lose my eyes, so... You could take any white eyeliner. I was gonna use pink. I couldn't find the specific one I was looking for and I started getting frustrated. I have the patience of like a three-year-old at a play store. And I have the personality of a cactus. I'm gonna take some more love letter and just smoke it at the bottom. I'm gonna pat it on first because shit hurts my eyes. I also can't tell if it's pink or the Stila, but something gets in my eyes generally when I you do this look. And it really hurts. Like I have to flush my eyes out. I'm not sure what it is though. Maybe it's the glitter and like some pieces get like trapped in my eye. Oh, there was something on this brush. Oh no. Let's just, let's just cover it up with some love water. Oh man. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look good either. It looks like some weird purple shit. I cleaned this one. I'm just making it worse. Oops. Oops. Go back in. Some love letter on top. I'm gonna use Wild Child in my inner corner from the Norvina palette. I think this is dry enough where we can use Stila eyeliner. You've seen me do this before. It's really tedious and kind of dumb. So I'm gonna do it and then I'll be back. Hi, I kind of hate them. That's nothing a little bit of ColourPop can't fix though. Especially this one. It looks like I have this thing where I want my eyeliner to be like sharp like a knife, like I could just shank someone. As you can tell, I like sharp things. But I hate when they do like this hook. It looks like, I don't know, it looks like the letter C or a banana and I don't like it. When was this sticking up? And none of you, none of you told me. Good enough. Because the number one rule is, gang, if you keep messing with it, you're just gonna mess it up. So let's put on some eye. This is optional. I don't normally, when I go out, I don't use eyelashes because we're nobody really does here. This is still sticking up and nobody told me. Yeah, nobody really wears eyelashes. Not that I see. If they do, they're doing a good job of like really using small ones. But I got these. They're um, Shop Miss A brand and they're in the style Shelby. I saw 
that Taylor, Taylor was wearing them and I thought they were so pretty. And then I didn't like my style, but I thought they were so nice. So I got them. They were $1.55, so like why not? But I love how like there's like so much dimension to them. There's like, oh, I can't even describe it. It's like you can't even see. There's like a layer and then another layer of just eyelash. And I'm super excited to try them. And this gave me an excuse to try them out. Oh, they're really soft. These are really cool. These are really nice. I feel like I'm like petting a spider. I just want to see how they are for now. Then if I have to cut them down later, I will. I actually use cat scissors to cut my eyelashes. It's just easier, I guess. More precise. While these dry, I'm going to use my other hand and spray my face with a Catrice Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. Because I don't want to water these down. I don't want them to fall off my eyes because they're wet. So let's just spray our face now. Again, if you don't make a face, you're probably into water sports. I'm just saying. What I like about the Kiss Glue is it dries really fast and doesn't burn the fuck out of my eyes. That's a win-win for everybody. I like to bend them a little bit so maybe they'll fit the curve of my eye a little better. And let's just put them on and see how they go. I'm also going to put on the other eye off camera. You ever hear a plane that's like flying too low and you're like, what is the government hiding from us? This one's giving me a lot of problems. Oh, this eyelash is giving me a lot of problems. I'm just going to wait till this dries before I keep... Butting with it. My left. Went on good. Shook hands. Had a great time. Right eye. Being a little bitch. Won't- s Oh, it's just- Why does it have to do this? I don't have mascara on yet. I just want these to sit before I put mascara on. If this one would stop being an asshole. Don't embarrass me in front of my friends. If I keep touching it, I'm gonna irritate my eyes. I mean, they're nice, though. You know, they're a little heavy, because they are a little thick. But not in a bad way. And I really like them, and they look really, really, really nice. This one's just being a little asshole. I'm just going to go in with my tried and true family jewels by Jeffree Star. Yeah, let's just go for like an Instagram baddie kind of look. What makes them so bad? What garners the title baddie? I guess because they like look bad. Maybe like the worst they've done is like sneak out or drink too much at a party when they were 18. I'm debating whether or not I want to put on a fake septum clicker. But let's just put on some of our mascara. So who's excited for Sonic the Hedgehog? You see the leaks? I did, and I have to say no. No to everything. No mono eye. No knuckles. Already bad. I want to see what they do with Eggman or Robotnik, whatever you call them. Because you know they can't just put Jim Carrey in a fat suit with some prosthetics. No, they're going to CGI him. And <laughs> judging by how Sonic looks, I don't think it's going to be good. But I'm pretty excited. I think I'm going to watch it because I want to see the shit show. Detective Pikachu I think is going to be good though. Like, what did you expect? I mean, did you expect them to look like cartoons? They're like based off of animals. I'm gonna clip these together so they're more cohesive. Now this eye is cooperating. You can't see anything. <laughs> Whoops. I'm just clamping my eyelashes in place with my real ones so they're, they look a little bit more together. Be careful, I would use something flatter. This is like, these have poked me in the eye actually a couple times and it's not fun. Pull our bangs back. This is my real hair today. I don't want to talk about how I did the buns, and none of you are telling me that this keeps sticking up. And honestly, this is basically it. And then I'll just go out. Let's see if we could use a septum clicker. Look at all those cool kids. Really cool guys. You stay out really late and drink alcohol. Yum. I like this one. But I'm biased because I like opals. I'm going to throw them all over the place. Great. Yay. So besides this eye looking really wonky because it's not matching, we are done. This is it. That's all it takes. See, it's very simple. Let me grab you and I'll show you. See? Try easy and see how these eyelashes. Ooh. You, your mom, your pet, your brother, anybody can do it. If you want to see anything special or fun, whatever you want me to do, I will do it. Except looking at everybody, I will not do a homestuck tutorial. I know you know who you are. The answer is no. That's it. Goodbye, friends. I'm gonna go take a nap and cry.